Greetings and salutations, Solo Guy here, and today we're going to check out Flames of War, Light War, Volksturm Platoon. Right. Only for the Germans uh, at this point, so standard thing at the back. Remember the scale here is in fact 15 uh, millimeter scale or 1 100th. And if you look on the top of the box, it will tell you exactly what is in the box itself. It contains one unit leader K, the Car 98 rifle team with Panzerfaust. Eight K98 rifle teams with Panzerfausts. And then one G08-15 LMG team. What's up with these guys? This is the last of the last, the bottom of the barrel troops that the German government was able to muster up. The old men, the young boys, giving them rudimentary weapons, basic weaponry, basic rudimentary training, and they were sent out to fight, especially in Berlin. So with that, let's take a look uh, at these guys here. And as you can already tell, we've got lots and lots and lots of the famous bases uh, here. Okay. Now we got a few, got a thing here to plug holes as needed. Open up. And boy, do we have a ton of metal. Ah! Oh, let's see. So, there is an instruction sheet here that tells you some things about how to base uh, things. So, let's take a look here. Okay, unit leader team. It's based on a small base facing the long edge. Long edge. Each should have three figures. Okay. The Car 98 rifle teams with the Panzerfaust. Now, they're based on a medium base with the four figures facing the long edge, split the Panzerfaust equally across the platoon. So you don't want one stand with, you know, four Panzerfausts and three other stands not having Panzerfausts. Okay, now there is, curiously, the MG08-15 light machine gun. Now this is supposed to be a simplified version of an LMG that uh, would be easy for them to use. I think it's also a question of the Germans didn't have anything else uh, to scrounge up. Okay, so it's mounted on a medium base facing the long edge. You base a gunner with either the MG08 or 15 LMG and three additional figures. All right. This is gonna be interesting considering these guys are metal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put on my little thing here and see what we've got. Ooh. Okay. Well, the first three figures I picked up, they have Panzerfausts in them. I have a figure without a Panzerfaust. Okay. And I've got a German who's a leader. Okay. So again, you can split these up. And again, the bases, if you look at the bases here, they're circular, so they are designed to fit within the holes. Okay. And uh, I have my platoon commander here with the... Uh, with a Schmeiser. I think it's a Schmeiser. Could be another version of it. And I have here one guy lying down with the Panzerfaust. I'm trying to see if I can find the MG. There it is. Yeah, it's a little hard to say. Oh, there it is. Need a little bit of a background here. Maybe a little there. Okay. So if you look at it, it kind of looks like a an old Maxim. Okay. But really cut down. And, uh, yeah. All right. 
we also have, oh my. You know, gotta admit, The guy with the bicycle, and if you look on the front, you've got uh, two Panzerfausts. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you got two Panzerfausts mounted on That's very cool. That is a nice touch. So, this is your basic platoon. I don't have the stats here uh, for them, but I've got like about 34 figures here with one light machine gun, and uh, yeah. So, I mean, there's different figures, some of them, they are, you know, they've got some basic uh, pieces of a German uniform, but these guys are pretty much, these guys are pretty much civilian. Uh, you got some great coats uh, in there, you got soft caps, you've got a few helmets here, but mostly Car 98 rifles, you got a bunch of Panzerfausts. Which naturally is going to give the uh, Soviets headaches, probably the Americans too, I would imagine. The British will get their dose as well, okay? Because Volkssturm wasn't just Berlin, but you could think about any major uh, German urban area that the Allies had to deal with, okay? Now, how reliable were these guys? Ah, some were better equipped than others. Uh, there was the there was the group that they had you know heavy machine guns. I think it was like the factory, the Siemens factory. Those guys were better equipped. I think they even had mortars uh, as well. Uh, but usually these guys were given Panzerfausts, um, the Car 98 bolt action rifle, and the modified light machine gun, and that was about it. And they were basic training. And they were sent to the front. So I'm not sure how many of them made it out of there. But uh, horrendous as it was, for these guys, there is no uniform color, which is different. This would be a challenge uh, because they're civilians. So there's going to be some browns and some grays, maybe some really dark, dark grays. And then, of course, uh, they were identified by a band, a, an arm band that they wore on the left arm and uh, to indicate that they were German fighters because that's how they were identified uh, with the other Germans. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting uh, project to work on. All right. Hey, I hope this benefited you guys. And uh, so you have a chance to see what the Volkssturm platoon is. There is a, an H, a heavy machine gun platoon. I think that there's a mortar platoon as well. I'm not 100% sure uh, on that. There's also a Hitler Jugend platoon, but I don't have that. I figure I've got plenty enough to uh, work on already. All right, guys. Hope this benefited you. You guys take care. Have a great day. God bless you. Solo guy out.